Yo guys, Spiderbot here. We're finally taking a look at Rick Toffin's audio quotes for this episode of Transit Secrets Black Ops 2 Zombies. We're going to split this into two parts. The first part of the video is going to consist of all his quotations that are used in the Grief game mode as well as for common elements in Transit and Nuketown Zombies for drops like max ammos, uh, you know, nukes, etc. Fire sales in uh, Newtown. He also has uh, reference to dogs, hellhounds. Uh, and then the second part, we're going to look at the audio quote specifically relating to the Easter egg and progression in transit and only in transit. So stay tuned for that. But here are the grief and other common quotes from Rick Toffin. Oh, look! You got the Wunderwaffe for DG2! Ha! Just kidding! <laughs> It's like playing Don't Touch the Lava, but with real lava! <laughs> Is that all the damage those missiles did? I was hoping for less ground and more lava. I remember doing that just to anger that little girl. Oh, his screams are so delightful! Ah, this building looks familiar. No power, no juggernaut. You have it easy compared to how they had it. It looks like a max ammo, but I can't be sure. I can only see everything at the same time. That gift was just for you! Won't you throw it away? I think I'm offended. Speed Cola! Oh, how I miss that invigorating taste! Ah, the best drink of them all! Bye-bye! <laughs> Crushed beneath a heel! Fetch me their souls! Double points! Drop one of these right here on... Time for a fire sale! <laughs> we will work together against the zombies, yeah? <laughs> Co-op time! So much fun! Wunderbar! <laughs> You're on two teams and only one team makes it out alive, so... Good luck! The shield is the cross craft! Feels the thrill of victory! Here, zombie, let me help you! Insta-kill! Now, which one of you is going to take care of that little bastard while everyone else runs around? You know, I never liked how that little brat never told us how anything worked. So the secret to survive is to... And that's how you win! <laughs> now go look at everything! Max Ammo! You know, I think I'm starting to miss the other three. Okay, you seem new to this, or at least you seem a bit nervous, no? Okay. Tell you what, I will keep my British from overwhelming you too much, so... Relax! It's up to you now. You are the only one left. Pity. Pick up the zombie, put down the zombie. It's hard! Round restarting! You have given the other team another chance! Even a stupid American and drunken Russian could do better than that! Trying to take a break, I see! Excuse me! Just getting used to the ether. Please have a good surprise. Right. Kaboom! Hmm, let's see. Ah, I can help you up and over, pretty one. This is how she did it. I always knew she was cheating. Blah, blah, blah. Vodka, vodka, blah, blah. Ah, I think I'm starting to miss that drunk. Is no one going to say anything about vodka? Ah, you guys are boring! Alright, section one completed for Richtofen. The next portion of the video are going to be the transit 
Easter egg related quotations and we're going to uh, basically provide them to you in order here. So let's start off with the first one. Ah, oh, good job, wunderbar. You've done well, my friend, but this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Of your group, you are the only one who seems to be able to hear me. So you must convince your deaf friends to heat up the obelisk. Setting a puny fire will not be enough. It must reach an extreme temperature. Now, if only you know how to build a portable engine of some sort, which might grow very hard. Hmm, some sort of jet engine with an afterburner? Oh, what? You do? Oh, goody, goody. So, why are you still standing here listening to voices in your head? Get to it, Schweinhund, or Maxis will kill you all! Now keep in mind, Samuel is the only one that can hear any of these quotes for Richtofen, unfortunately, which kind of sucks for everybody else that's playing. I don't know why they did that, but for co-op, you think, why not make it for, so everybody could hear it? But anyways, that is the start. Uh, that is after you get that quote after you turn on the power for the first time. Now there is a bit of a delay from the time you turn on the power until you hear this first quote from Richtofen, but it shouldn't be too long. A chance, idiotin! You need the power! Make me the flicker flicker again, dog off! Now the only time you will hear this quote is if you turn the power off once it's already been on. And you haven't completed Richtoff inside of the Easter egg, obviously. And he'll say, yeah, you need the power. Come on, go turn it on again, basically. Yeah, yeah! I can feel the jingling in my dorsies! And this quote will come up once you turn the power on again. So you've turned it on, you've turned it off, you've turned it on again, and he can feel the tingling in his toesies. Oh, joy. Oh, that is a lush beef! Now you have everything you need to make the jet engine quickly! The uh, first task that Richtofen gives you is the assembly of the jet gun. You need the jet gun in order to heat up the obelisk, and he will say this, uh, once you've just about completed assembling the parts, you've picked up the last component. Yes, that's the last piece. Go finish the jet gun, Samuel. Excellent. Your skills are superb. Now get this thing to the obelisk. We must hurry for Maxis is a busy little beaver. On the dummy bird will kill you all. Trust me. So you've completed assembly of the jet gun. All right, pick it up, bring it to the obelisk. Fire it up, baby. Try again! The obelisk must be as hot as you can make it! Hot. Now you'll get this one if you attempt to heat up the obelisk, but you don't do it right or you don't heat it up enough. You basically have to fire the jet gun almost the entire time or destroying it, but several seconds you have to fire the jet gun. So if you only fire for like a second, it's not as hot as it needs to be, and uh, he tells you so. You fool! The obelisk must be hot! Very, very hot! Like me! Oh. And this is another quote for failure to heat up the obelisk correctly. You need it to be very hot, just like Richtof, and apparently he thinks he's pretty hot. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, jawohl! It's so hot and it's burning up! Oh! Sexy! Now, I don't remember ever hearing Richtofen say this one, but uh, it's either as you're powering or as you're heating up the obelisk or once it's complete and before he gets to the next quote about, uh, about killing the zombies and getting the element 115 to power the obelisk. But uh, yeah, that's it. It's hot enough, baby. Now we need the 115. What's the only place to get that? Is from the flesh! The flesh! You must rest the 115 from the undead by killing them! Oh boy, do you need a bunch of it! Get busy! Alright, so we had step one is assemble the jet gun. Step two is to heat up the obelisk. Step three is to kill zombies underneath the pylon at the obelisk. And he needs element 115, which differs from Maxis. Maxis, Maxis actually needs the Avogadro. But Richtofen needs element 115, and you just need to shoot a bunch of zombies underneath the pylon, kill them, and you should be able to power up the pylon, or the obelisk. Idiots! You have missed a step somewhere! First the hut, then the fish, then the electricity! 
You are almost useless. If I wanted a mindless thing to save the Earth, I would send a zombie. Now this one can come up in a couple of instances. It's just if you don't do things in the correct order. The step after you power up the obelisk with the zombies is to take your EMPs and throw them at the, uh, the lampposts, the green lampposts. But if you throw your EMP at the green lampposts before getting enough zombie kills to power the obelisk, then this type of quote could come up. You've missed a step. You're trying to do, you're trying to EMP the light post. Well, you should be killing the zombies to, to power the obelisk first. So that's what he'll, uh, he'll tell you. He's, hey, you're doing it wrong. Get, get back to work. Do it right. Come on. That is a large group of Labendan Toten. Now lure them to the obelisk. Then make them go boom! This quote will come up if you have uh, a few zombies rounded up underneath the pylon at the obelisk. And this is the uh, only indication that you get to actually blow up the zombies. He doesn't let you know that it's it's best to, to use explosive weapons on the zombies. I mean, we've gone through rounds and I think somebody actually happened to have a ray gun. And a ray gun is considered an explosive weapon. So that's how we finished it. And it took us probably like... Uh, six or seven or eight or even ten rounds to do it but if you use explosive weapons only you can do it far quicker in the span of a round uh, or or two at the most and you can complete it. and I'm talking low rounds as well I mean rounds five six uh, you can power up the obelisk using explosive only weapons within two rounds and get to the next step Oh, Wunderschön! But now too much power is flowing into the obelisk. You must reduce the incoming power by a factor of four. So this is Samuel's indication that you have completed powering the obelisk. We have enough zombie kills underneath the pylon, so now you have to reduce the power. It's too much power incoming, and you got to reduce it by a factor of four. And this is where four players with EMPs, one at each, uh, one at uh, one green lamp post each to throw a single EMP down or if you have two players with EMPs and two EMP EMPs in their inventory at once you can have the teleporters down and we've done it we've we have videos on the channel where you throw an EMP quickly jump through the teleporter and then throw down another EMP and that will give you four EMPs on four different light posts if you're lucky and uh, that's what you gotta do that's the next step I'm sorry to drive here Reduce the electricity now! Take care of the only ones! Not sure if I've heard this one before either, but again, I think it's it's just a failure uh, to EMP the lampposts. Uh, you have to reduce the electricity. The only time he asks you to do it is after you've killed enough zombies under the pylon. So, assuming that fits in with, hey, EMP the lightposts, come on, let's do it right now. we got to finish the job. Almost! All four must do it simultaneously. Together, idiots, together! Must I do everything? Look how much I do for you already. It's the least you could do to save your pathetic planet. I spare some people. No ability to work as a team. So this is another indication of failure. Perhaps if you don't get all four EMPs or you mess up, you don't time it right, and even if you only do one, if you throw down one EMP at one of the lampposts, he'll tell you, hey, you screwed up moron get it right all four of you together or two like i said two uh at one lamppost in the teleporter and another two emps at another two lampposts so you can do a two player one player yeah pretty much impossible yeah yeah you did it soon this beautiful planet will be healed once more and the flesh will cover the earth <gasps> what a glorious day that will be for you you will be the hero that has saved all of the Earth for me to play with! <laughs> and this is the last quote you get for from Richtofen once you've completed uh, reducing the power. You've got the four MPs of the four lampposts. This is the quote you get. You got the Tower of Babel achievement if you hadn't gotten it already from Maxis or from, uh, from Richtofen previously. And that's it. He uh, apparently you're going to be the her the hero that saved the Earth, and Richtofen gets to play with it. <laughs> we got one more quote. Ah, oh, 
Yeah, that is good. You have accomplished much. But to activate the computer, you must have the little nav card thingy, which plugs into the computer thingy. Don't worry a little brain about what it does or how it works. Just go find it. That is the final quote from Rick Toffin. We have not actually heard that in-game, but the problem is, when we played originally on Transit, we built the nav card table right away. And we didn't, I don't remember hearing Rick Toffin say anything, but once we had it built, every time we go into the game, the table is already there. It's always, always built, and it has never done anything. Um, what I'm thinking here, and, and what we're going to do this week, because we have Revolution coming out next week, we haven't gone through the Easter egg on Xbox, so we're going to do that this week. You don't have to complete assembly of the nav card table in order to complete the Tower of Babel. You can do Richtofen and Maxis's sides and get your achievement without assembling the nav card table. So that's what we want to do. We want to complete Richtofen uh, or Maxis, probably Richtofen first, and then do the assembly on the table because I think this is this is what happens if you've completed the Tower of Babel and you're you're working on the nav the nav table. He basically he, he's telling you to activate the computer, you must have the little nav card thingy which plugs into the computer thingy, and those are components of that nav card table. And there's nothing else outside of this, like unless there are other audio quotes that are hidden within the game, but there is no other indication of successful completion or assembly of the nav card table, let alone using one of the nav cards at the nav card table, which has never been done to my knowledge yet on uh, transit and who knows maybe once die rise comes out we'll see what happens then but but that's it i mean there's nothing more and there's nothing more from from Richtof. and so it really leads me to believe yeah there's there's no more progression for some sort of major easter egg uh i still think there there are a lot of things that are hidden on transit and you know to all the guys that are saying no there's nothing more there's not absolutely nothing more hey a few days ago it was a new song, a new Easter egg song. I mean, I know the song's not new, but the Easter egg on Nuketown Zombies is new. And Nuketown Zombies came out the same time Transit did for people who bought Hardened Edition. And we just found it. It was just found a few days ago. So there's there's more to find on Transit. I can, uh, I can almost guarantee it. But for it to be sort of a major thing, we've gone through the four main characters, the playable characters... Uh, as well as Maxis, as well as Richtof, and we still have to do more on the bus driver, and that may give us more information. But for for Maxis and, and Richtof, and I don't think there's any more. And even from the character's perspective, there's really not much more for them to say. So it is what it is, but we will see, and we'll continue. Uh, we have just over a week left here for uh, for Transit before Die Rise comes out. Then we'll be jumping into Die Rise. But we're not, we're not just going to completely forget about transit. We'll be back. We'll be back. Definitely. And if you guys have any comments about any of these quotes or any other thoughts, feel free to leave a comment on the video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Spider, and I'm out.